Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Potato, and welcome back to our channel. Hello everybody, good morning. Just drinking some plain black coffee from my, my Dolly Parton mug <laughs> that I actually got while I was at Dollywood. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, me. So I'm fasting today because I have to go to the doctor for my my annual like physical wellness exam, whoever, whatever. And if you didn't watch my video yesterday, I was experiencing, or still I am experiencing, a lot of pain right here. Um, and so I'm saying all of that to preface that this may be a more toned down reaction from um from me Zachary Michael because even just like when I just breathed in there two seconds ago <laughs> I I could feel the pain so um thank you all to everybody on yesterday's video who if you did watch it go watch it it was uh, unhinged 20 minutes of just me being unhinged rambling on the YouTubies about my doctor about this pain I'm feeling about my camel toe so many things. Um, it it's, was a joy to film, a joy to make, and a joy for a lot of you to watch it. But anyways, in that video, I encouraged people to just give me their unsolicited, who knows if they're actual medical experts or not, feedback. And a lot of people, a lot of people said, Zach, I think you might got that sludge on that gallbladder. <laughs> They said, oh, have you been rapidly <laughs> losing weight because maybe you got sludge on your gallbladder? No, I'm, in all seriousness, a lot of people are like, Zach, those are the exact sides of, like, somebody who's having issues with their gallbladder. Like, you probably should talk to somebody. And listen, we're on day three of this now, so, yeah, I'm gonna probably ask my doctor today <laughs> when I'm there. And we'll, we'll go from there. We'll see. It... It has been, honestly, I've really, really moved past it being, like, a gas-related thing. That was my whole thing in yesterday's video. It's like, it feels like I have to, like, burp or fart or whoever, whatever. I don't think that's the case anymore. <laughs> I really, I really don't. It's just, like, it's just a pain now, and it was horrible to sleep with. I have little energy, but I still, you know, we, I have time. I have time to show up to work today. Drink my, my plain ass black coffee. So, you know what we're gonna do is react to an Amber Lynn Reed video today, okay? Oh, the other reason I'm kind of trying to be a little more chill is that Noel is having a meeting right on the other side of this wall. <laughs> so I'm gonna try not to be annoying for Noel's sake and or Noel's co-workers and colleagues, you know? You feel me? You feel me now, Mr. Krabs? Okay, good. It's great. So Amber Lynn has a new vlog today. This is another stellar, stunning, eight minute long vlog. Somebody asked me when the AdSense like mid-roll requirements changed to eight minutes as opposed to 10. And it's honestly been a few years, I think. It hasn't been 10 for a while. I think that happened, to be quite honest with you, I think around like 2020, but that's just me trying to use my own remembrance and my remembrance isn't great. So just, you you can go look up the actual fact, but that's just my memory of, of when it happened. So anyways, this new vlog is called Weekly Weigh-In. Talk to my dad for the first time in seven years and cute plus size outfit bar vlog. Which, wow, what a fascinating title. I am curious because, um, you know, she has mentioned her dad from time to time. I guess I didn't realize that she wasn't in active conversation with him. Because I thought that she said that she has, like, messaged him here and there over time. But maybe this is, like, a technicality or maybe also my remembrance just isn't great. Um, but I am curious to hear about it. I, I feel like it is a fascinating thing to share with your YouTube audience. Um, and, and it leads me to continue wondering how she decides what is for YouTube and what isn't. You know what I'm saying? Because so often she's like... I'm going through things that I can't talk about on the YouTubies, but maybe maybe we'll find out more about her her thoughts and feelings and whoever whatever in this video. <laughs> so can y'all tell I'm already struggling? It's listen, we are gonna push through. <laughs> we are gonna push through. We're gonna react to this video. So let's just get to get to, shall we? Good morning. Hi. We are today. I just woke up. 
Hello. I just wake up. My allergies are always the Wait. worst. Wait. I am I am curious because in the last video she ended off I think she was in like a maroon burgundy shirt and she said oh I forgot to finish my vlog or end my vlog from yesterday so don't be alarmed if you see me in this shirt for the next video but yet here we are she's in maybe a bra question mark a nightgown question mark she's clearly just like in bed question mark so here we are. So right now I have a massive stuffy nose. Love that for me. And like a little bit of a scratchy throat, but that's just what happens. I don't know. I, I think it's because I'm allergic to my cats, but let's go away. Um, I am about, like I told you. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean that's just what happens? I also, here's the thing. I do know there's a lot of cat people out there that love cats so much even if they have allergies. It couldn't be me. I do think cats are cute. I just like could never sacrifice dealing with my allergies just to have cats. But so many of them have told me in the past that like it's fine as long as you take like allergy medicine or something. So you would think that she would do that. You would think. But I do know she also does have like some, some qualms with taking medicines and stuff like that. She's brought that up a lot lately. You know, she doesn't, she doesn't want to, she's been so stressed and anxious lately, but she won't take her, she stopped taking her anxiety medicine. So, um, you know, I, I get it. You just don't want to take any medicine. I shower before I went to sleep and my hair is still like wet underneath a little bit, which is fine. Now, um, now this is, remember, remember that time not too long ago where she talked about putting her hair up in the poop bun while it was still wet? And people were concerned she's going to get moldy hair, mildew in her hair. I, that's kind of what I'm feeling right now. I'm kind of concerned. Why is it still wet? But I'm about to like get ready for the day. We are going to straighten her today because she's looking a little wild. I don't understand. Like, I painted my nails like oh, wow. five days ago. Those look so rough. Like, we're already chipping. Those look <laughs> so bad. Those look, those look rough, girly girl. You might as well just redo them now. Does anyone have any, like, nail polish recommendations? Because this is just too much. I'm not going to sit here and paint my nails daily. Well, this is part hollow taco. Everybody's always asking me what my nail polish is. This is part hollow taco, but it's also part whatever they had, OPI probably, that they had at the nail salon. And honestly, I added the hollow taco afterwards to like touch up where where the manicure I got from the nail salon has started chipping. And hollow taco's great. It usually lasts me like somewhere between one to two weeks. If you know what hollow taco is, it's a nail polish brand that was made by uh, Christine from Simply Nail Logical, a YouTuber here. And on top of like just the products being good, she also has a lot of videos about how to like maintain your manicure and make your nail polish last longer. And so I would suggest all of those things as tips for <laughs> for Amberlynn Reed. Not that, not that Christine is like the end all be all when it comes to nail polish, although she is for me because I really like her and her product, but she is very helpful. Like I'm good, but that looks horrendous. It's just annoying. It, okay, it, so it I'm just look done, rough. Makeup done. I have this like undershirt because that's what I'm gonna wear today. Wait, 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 wait. You know what this is giving? I don't even know if this TikTok is still on her on her TikTok channel. Which, by the way, she has been posting a lot of cringy TikToks where she's like trying to lip sync, but the words don't line up and match. Anyways, a year or two ago, it's been a while since she posted this one TikTok, but she had like a sheer see-through shirt on and just a bra underneath of it. And I was actually kind of like, well, you better work, Amberlynn. I would never expect for you to show so much skin because you could literally see her torso. I was, I was shook. I mean, this is the girl that like, doesn't show her legs on camera, right? So I, I was never expecting her to see that much skin, you know, you feel me? But I am I am kind of getting that vibe from this like sheer striped shirt with this maybe bra underneath. But I don't know what to wear on top of it. So let's go in my closet together. I don't want to go back into the closet. It's because I'm moving. Oh wow, it's so it's empty. Out, folks. 
It's, Remember how there used to be tons of stuff up here? Yes. Not anymore. Oh my god, so it's so I'm empty. So something that's like... I don't know. Spaghetti strap. Um... Maybe like this guy. Is it, oh, this also, guy. is this the cute plus size outfit in question in the title? Let me be the judge. Right here. I do love fashion. I was thinking like something black, but I don't know. I just really love this green color. So let me put her on. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm so confused. I, didn't, I was not aware of what we were trying to do here. I thought she was looking, because it looks like she's just wearing a bra underneath this, like, sheer top. I thought she was looking for something to put underneath the sheer top. I think my brain is just not functioning, because this actually honestly makes a lot more sense than what I was thinking. Oh yeah, this absolutely does something for me. I think I wore this outfit one other time. I wasn't vlogging that day, though. I don't... I don't... You're vlogging today, folks. I, I get what she's trying to do. I don't know that I like the green. I think, I think maybe a different color. I, I don't hate it, to be honest with you. I just think maybe like a different, a different color, maybe a different texture. Cause it looks like maybe like a faux velvet. I don't hate it. I just think that she probably has better options. Oh my God. I love this outfit. And both of these things are from Hot Topic. Oh, They're just work. separately. Oh wait, is that little lace fringe on the top of that around the neckline? Okay, all right, giving a little lingerie, a little lingerie. Also, what's most important is just that she feels comfortable in it, obviously. Like, if I, if I don't think it's, like, the best outfit, that's fine. I also don't hate it. I don't know. I <laughs> Let's keep it going. Keep it moving. These things are from Hot Topic. They were just bought separately. So I don't know if I ever showed you guys this before, but I'm out taking Twinkie walks. Uh-huh. And you, you better fucking be careful with that, that edge of that sidewalk. And you got the camera in your hand. We're about to have dangling ankle 2.0, girly girl. This is where I fell. Exactly. <laughs> last year. You better be careful. See that, like, little hole? I do. So it just went... <laughs> You, and I fell down. She is tempting the fates. She is really trying to repeat history. Girl, you better be careful. You're in danger, girl. This little hill. So. Okay, so I thought I was walking it. This little hill, where? Where is there a hill? I fell down. Where, where is there a hill? How is this a hill? Oh my god, girl, please be serious. <laughs> there is not a hill here. On this little hill. Heel. Okay, this so little heel. Yesterday, and like I clearly didn't. So I only vlogged one clip, so I'm gonna put that right here. So yeah. Okay, you guys. Now what? Now what day is this from? Can you tell me? Because I swear to God, she ended that last video wearing like a red maroon shirt. Now, if if I go back and I look, and she, maybe I should just look now. Maybe I should just look now and not save it for when I'm editing, because otherwise you're about to look real fucking stupid, Zachary Michael. Uh, let me just pull it up, let me pull it up. Where is it at, where is it at? Me wearing this in my next video is because I decided to film like a full length vlog today. Work. A yeah, she's wearing like her standard like red maroon shirt that she wears a lot. Fascinating. So where is this clip in this gray shirt coming from? <laughs> I don't know what day it is in Amberlynn world. I got some dry shampoo. Okay. Need some of that. I also, because these gnats, these fruit flies are no joke. Uh -huh. So I got this thingy to plug it into a wall. Okay, Hopefully great. That works. I was craving some stuffing. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Amber Lynn and buying stuffing year round because she craves it. Literally, stuffing is never something in the world that I personally, this is not a slight at her, I'm just speaking for myself. I've never personally just like craved that shit. And in fact, at like holidays, like Thanksgiving and Christmas, when it tends to be present, things I'm not trying to eat honestly, truly, is the fucking stuffing. It's never done anything for me, so it's just so funny to me, like, that she is so hooked on this stuff. So, 
got some of that. Got some makeup wipes because I've officially ran out. Got some lotion. This is the best lotion, I promise. It's Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. It's for very dry to dry sensitive skin. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. And then last but not least, Get out of here. I know she's not over here unwrapping a fucking rotisserie ass chicken. I know she's not doing this. Why do the whole ass rotisserie chickens have to keep coming back? Why? Why? Can't laugh. It hurts. It hurts. Oh. I got a rotisserie chicken. Why? Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm about to make me some stuffing and have some of this chicken and just enjoy my time. And all right, so now we're all up to speed. I also, I also just want to say, I just want to say, and I had actually originally said something about this in my last reaction video tour, but I didn't like the way that I worded it, so I just took it all out. Um, because I didn't want it to come across in a way I didn't intend. But she, in that last video I reacted to, talked about how, uh, you know, like, she didn't think about food in the same way. She didn't get excited about food in the same way that this, that, the other when it came to food. And it, she, her relationship has totally changed. And I think what I really just want to say is it's clear that food still really makes her excited. And I think she's, like, really in denial about that, which is the thing that just, like, in general makes me concerned about the way she talks about this, like, one meal a day situation type of deal, right? Like, I don't, I don't, I'm not here to give diet advice or anything. I just think that, like, what I really want to focus on is, like, how she talks about the diet. That leads me to believe that, like, not much has actually shifted in the way that she thinks about food or her relationship with food because even when she talked about that stuffing and rotisserie chicken, she was like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, I am I'm, can't wait to just enjoy this food, to just enjoy it and, and, and be one with it. Well, shit, I'm putting words in her mouth a little bit there, but you know what I'm saying? Does that resonate with anybody else? So I did weigh myself, so I'm gonna put that right here. Okay. okay today is Monday, September 4th. My weekly weigh in. Hello, in tray, 511.4. Okay, pounds. still trending. 511.4. In the right direction. So we're starting to lose a little slowly, but I'm okay with it as long as I'm losing. So I'm only down 2.6 this week, but it's a total of like 31.6 in three weeks. I, I am fascinated also by her saying only down by 2.6 when, not to beat a dead horse, but back when she was doing like, I don't remember if it was keto, Ozempic, or both together, I don't remember, but she was like, ah, two to, two to three pounds in one week, that's rapid weight loss and it's causing me to get the sludge, you know? And now it's like, it's only 2.6. 2.6 is still good. Keep it going. Keep it moving. So I'm very happy about that. I knew the weight loss was gonna start coming off super slow. Um, that's just how it goes, but that's okay. I haven't done anything different this last week. I'm still only eating one to two meals a day. Um, okay. It's just what I've been doing. So we're not. And so just to be clear, we're not really necessarily doing OMAD. We're doing one to two meals a day. So we're just doing like an intense like intermittent fasting situation type of deal. And it's just a lot of fasting. And I only sleep there you go. for like six, seven hours. My sleep is so freaking bad. I know like supposedly you're supposed to get eight hours, but I I am so <laughs> I can't do that either. Oh we are going to the doctor, besties. We're going to the doctor. <laughs> literally what I'm doing after I get done filming and editing today but oh did we not did we not did I not just say in a video let me bookmark this because she says and claims that she you know <laughs> she fixed her sleeping schedule and here she is already like a week later back to saying my my sleeping is so bad because my sleeping schedule was really messed up it's fixed by the way I want to say that that I have officially fixed my sleeping schedule I, I I feel like I feel like I'm living in the twilight zone but it's just like 
I don't know. I'm I'm trying to wake up at the same time every single day. So regardless of what time I fall asleep, I always have my alarm set for um, the same time in the morning. Okay. So it's like that's the reason why I'm not getting the full hours. So I need to start falling asleep like an hour or two earlier so I can get eight hours of sleep. But you but you just claimed that that you fixed your sleeping schedule. <sighs> She's so irritating. But yeah. So Another loss. I'm super, super proud of that. I hope this next week I lose at least five pounds. I know that's fucking insane because that I, is a lot I for think, like a fourth week. I think stop setting up expectations for what you will or won't lose and just be happy that you're you're trending downward, you know? I feel like that'll work best for you. Um, but I feel like if I stick to what I've been doing, like... It should happen, right? So I fucking I hate black coffee. Literally, the only thing I hate about wearing lipstick is getting the damn lipstick on all my drinks. Like, ma'am, look at this beautiful, beautiful baby boy. He's yeah. getting old, you guys. Someone told me that cats that are like eight, nine years old are old. I don't know that anything about cats. I want to show you guys something that he does. He likes to lick my hand. And his tongue feels like sandpaper. Thank you, baby boy. That was mm. super sweet. I mm. appreciate it. <laughs> what do y'all? What do y'all think Amberlynn Reed's hand tastes like? Actually, I don't know if I want to know what some of y'all dark-sided people think that think her hand tastes like. But mm, tasty treat for a little wasabi. So much. Yes, I am crying. I just. Did something super freaking crazy. Well, for me it is. I just talked to my dad on video chat. And I hadn't actually talked to him on the phone in probably seven years. I haven't heard his voice in seven years. Um, but I haven't, like, physically seen him. Like, we never did video chats, nothing, since I was 18 years old. And I'm now 32. And that was the craziest, most surrealist thing that I've done in so long, and it's uh -huh. just like, for all, all these years, I remembered my dad like a certain way, and to like see him and like hear his voice and it be completely different than like what I remember, and it is just, it's wild. It's so surreal. Rarity has been with me for the whole call, and it was just, it was really hard. I don't... So, okay, so going back to what I said before I started this video, I'm intrigued why this is a thing, right? Like, I mean, please please keep in mind that nothing that Amberlynn chooses to share necessarily has to make sense or will make sense ever, but it is very uh, fascinating to me as a concept that she is opting to share this story that seems very personal when she doesn't share, one, a lot of other things, like, on her channel, she's always often talking about, like, stuff is going on that I can't tell you about, there are things happening that I can't tell you about, blah, 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 blah. But then, two, it's just, like, we don't know, honestly, truly, a lot about her dad, right? Like, we don't know a ton of stuff about him, she doesn't talk about him a lot, and so it does come out of, like, nowhere. And I think what she doesn't realize is that when she does stuff like this, is that, well, and maybe she does realize it. I mean, maybe it really is all a part of the plan. But, but like, I think when she just out of nowhere comes and shows this, like, vulnerability or sadness about something that we have no context for, she hasn't really talked extensively about. I mean, she has mentioned her dad, let me be fair, like, I, we know that he exists as a concept, right? But anytime that she just comes out of nowhere with this kind of stuff, like, I think it leads to people being like, well, what is she trying to take away from? And then people start speculating, you know? And in the past, it's been like, oh, like, she wants to take attention away from what Beck is doing. She wants to take attention away from, like, Destiny coming out in videos and things like that. And so I think for me that that is maybe the largest question I have is, like, what, like, what's the purpose of out of nowhere, <laughs> like, sharing about this stuff? And, and I guess, like, I guess the point is that she thinks we're invested in her, and this is important to her, and that's probably why she's sharing. I don't know. For me, it seems like maybe the first conversation you should have about this 
with somebody is so, literally anybody else, right? Like, the way she's presenting this is like, I just got off uh, the phone with my father. It was a very intense conversation because I have all of these feelings tied to him and I haven't like seen what he looks like since I was 18 years old. And her first thought was like, let me pick up the camera and film for YouTube. <laughs> I don't know. For me, as just like somebody who, you know, has a healthy relationship with processing my feelings and emotions, I, for me, the, the first indication in my head is not like, let me pick up the camera and film my thoughts about this like deeply personal and vulnerable moment that I just had. I don't want to go into like too much detail, but he's not doing very good and I just love him so much. And yeah, it was just crazy. And I just wanted to document this moment and remember this moment for ever. Cause like, I don't know. It just I'm, really meant a lot to me. I'm, I'm also just fascinated with the concept. I, I get that she wants to remember this moment, but we're also talking about a girly girl who, like, journals everything, <laughs> like, journals all the time. And I'm also, uh, so, like, that is an option, is what I'm saying, to, like, remember this moment, remember how you felt in this moment, whoever, whatever. But I'm also just, like, fascinated by the concept as a whole from a lot of people. I guess I think about this most when it comes to, like, people who love to take pictures of everything. To the extent that, like, sometimes I feel like it takes away from whatever the moment's happening. And I'm just like, I, I'm confused why why the only way to, to remember this moment is for you to pick up the camera. But I guess, like, live your truth. I don't know. I guess because I'm not feeling well. I'm, I'm trying to give her the benefit of the doubt on everything. Uh, but for me, I just, I think there are other ways you could remember this moment. Yeah. Wow. Um... Emotions are all over the place. I need a hug. That's what I need right now. Okay, so I'm currently doing some packing. I, I will say, I will say, I'm glad she got to have that moment. I really uh, do love that for her. You know, I think if you can rekindle a, a relationship that was important to you, have at it. Now, before, before we move on, I'm just looking at this um, alleged cute plus size outfit that she's wearing. And this is not, this dress shirt thing that she put on over this other shirt, it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. One of her boobs is fully out. One of her, this boob right here is fully out. This boob is still kind of in the shirt. What is going on with this photo? What is happening here? What happened, April Lynn? What is going on with this outfit? And, oh my God. <laughs> this dress always does that. It's okay though. Okay. I think so, I think that's probably because it doesn't fit you right. I feel like it's probably because this doesn't this dress doesn't fit you correctly. I'm doing some packing, and I want to get rid of tons of movies, so I have them in here. And I want to show you guys some of my favorite movies because I wouldn't own it unless I was obsessed. So. Why? why? 10 Things I Hate About You. Well, first of all, I do love 10 Things I Hate About You. As a high schooler, I watched that movie so many times. I was obsessed. But also, why are we doing this? Also, if you're getting rid of them, why do I care? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Is this how we're ending the video? Girl Interrupted, A Simple Favor, any of the Jurassic World's Jurassic Oh, yeah, she loves home. dinosaurs. My Girl, My Girl 2, Forrest Gump, The Parent Trap. Life of the Party, Matilda. Why does she have to do this? The dog's purpose. Why does she have to do this? If, if the point is for me to look at what you're doing, how do you think holding something up and going like this helps me focus on what you're showing me? Keep your hands still, please. I'm begging you. Don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. I feel like no one knows about this movie. I've loved it since. I was very, very young. Please watch this. It's so good. Age of Adeline, The Runaways, What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Oh my Riding God. Cars with Boys. I was thinking a lot about What's Eating Gilbert Grape. I I was traumatized by that that movie as as a young person because I don't well I don't if you've never watched it the movie came out a long time ago so if you're worried about spoilers but the spoiler is is that their mom is like morbidly obese and can't get out of bed and her bed is on the second floor of their house and the house starts on fire and they can't get her out and she burns and dies in the house 
I mean, that's not what the whole movie's about, but that is a thing that happens in the movie, and it really traumatized me as a child. This is, like, one of my top favorite movies ever. Drew Barrymore is my heart and soul. The Help. Last but not least, we have Still Alice. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I totally forgot to end the vlog, <laughs> but I'm trying to remember to do so. Okay, why? And I was literally just laying in bed editing. So I I'm, noticed, oh, there's not an outro. I, I'm a, I'm obsessed with her her going back to this era where she <laughs> forgets to film outros. I mean, I guess it's not really an era. I'm being a little bit like Amber Lynn right now, being like, oh, this is her forgetting to film outros era, but... Also, truly, that's just been her channel, hasn't it? So, I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one. I'm sorry, uh, these have been, like, super freaking short. It's um, okay. I needed it today. But, love you guys. Bye! I, I needed the short content today, because, besties, I am <laughs> I'm struggling. I am just like, ooh. That was, uh, that, first of all, the content was tough to get through, Second of all, I I feel not great, <laughs> but we did it. We did it, Joe. And y'all are getting this quality Zachary Michael content today. So I hope you all very much enjoyed the, the video. I'll continue to keep you updated on how I'm doing. Hopefully everything is fine and easily fixable. Um, but otherwise, uh, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. And if you're brand new, please make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all of my social media. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!